Today we are heading to Vang Vieng from Vientiane and we're actually getting the uh, high speed rail uh, train today. Um, it's the route that runs from China. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be an adventure. It actually only takes about 50 minutes in the train. Um, and we booked our tickets online, which was actually surprisingly straightforward. We'll explain to you how we did that shortly. And by the way, we've been staying at a place called Sairi Guest House just for one night. We've literally not really seen VNTN, but it's actually really, really nice. I really liked it. And if we were ever coming back to VNTN, I'd definitely stay here. It was only £20 for the night and the room was brilliant. Didn't get any of that, unfortunately, on camera, but it was so spacious and I really liked the design of it. And yeah, it was just really nice and it's in a good little location right next to the food market at night as well. So if you're coming here, definitely check out this place. But for now, we're waiting for our ride to the station. So there's a couple of apps that you can use here. There's Loka and there's one called InDrive. And um, the InDrive was significantly cheaper than the Loka. So that's the one we went for. Um, it was about 120,000 kit, um, which is about six, seven pounds. Hopefully he's not a crazy driver. Well, let's see. The drive to the station um, is about 16 kilometers, so it's coming up on Google Maps that's gonna take 35 minutes. So it is actually quite far out of the center of VNTN. So give yourselves enough time. I'm saying all this feeling slightly anxious because I feel like we haven't given ourselves enough time and we're waiting or having to wait a while for the driver. Um, it was funny because when I booked the tickets, they don't actually tell you um, how far in advance you should arrive at the station. So our train leaves at 20 past nine in the morning, but there was nothing to, to tell us. So I asked around and some people said we should arrive an hour before, some people said half an hour. We're definitely not gonna be arriving an hour before because it's almost an hour before now. Um, it's quarter past eight. So yeah, hopefully we're gonna get there with enough time because I've heard it's a bit like going through airport security. They scan your bags and things, so that could take a wee while. So yeah, hopefully this guy arrives soon. He is the money, money. He is the money. <laughs> here. We have got here with 25 minutes to spare. Hopefully that will be enough time to get through security. Um, it is a long way to this airport. The traffic lights were airport. against us. <laughs> feels like an airport. Um, yeah, it's a long way to this station and the traffic lights were against us for most of the time. So just make sure that you give yourself enough time to get here. Um, because yeah, I was watching Google Maps the whole way. It's a little bit stressful. Um, but that app's quite good, the InDrive. So you basically say where you're going, they give you a rough idea of how much it should cost. And then you put in how much you want to pay. And then different drivers bid and give you different prices and then you choose one. So it's quite good. And I read that it was cheaper than the Loka app. And it definitely was, because they wanted a lot more. Right, let's do this. And you go. Well, that was relatively painless and very quick, so that's good. Okay, we're on the train, so there is actually an option to pay extra and go in first class. I don't know what that's like. I did read that it's actually cheaper to get a shared minivan to Vang Vieng from Vientiane than to get the train because by the time you take into account what you're spending on the train ticket and also actually to get to the station it apparently may be cheaper to get the shared minivan but to be honest we wanted to have the experience of the train um, but it is weird because like the station is so far out of town it's literally just in the middle of nowhere it doesn't really seem very I don't know, like, I've never been to a city where the train station is so far out of the actual city centre, it seems bizarre. But anyway, that's the way it is. So we, it's really itchy. Um, so yeah, we're on the train, we're waiting to go. So I'll just tell you quickly how we booked the tickets. So we actually used the LCR app 
and surprisingly it was really straightforward but there are two things that you need to be able to book a ticket on that app. One is allow phone number. So because we're here for a while, we got a low SIM card when we were here, so we have a low phone number. And at the moment while filming this, they only accept Visa card, um, not MasterCard. By the time this video comes out, that might have changed. Um, but provided you've got those two things, it was actually really easy to book the tickets. Otherwise, you would either have to go through an agency who charge extra and they would buy the ticket for you or you would actually have to come here in person to get them and I'm not sure how easy it is to get them on the day. I think it might be better to book in advance just in case it's busy. But to be honest, the station is so far out that I really don't think it's worth doing that. You would probably be better just getting the, the minivan. What I've never seen before is <laughs> sort of, I guess, Chinese efficiency. Um, there's a like a guard, female guard. I think that most of them are female. Every single carriage doorway, and there's a lot of carriages in this. Just standing there, very formal, hands clasped, and you know, just making sure everyone gets on. Okay, it's, uh, yeah, it feels quite military almost. But you know, I'm sure it'll run on time. So you want. The other thing to say about the app is that at the moment you can actually only book the trains three days ahead, so you can't book any further ahead than that. So the tickets from Vientiane to Vang Vien were just over five pounds each. It's about an hour and twenty minute train ride. You can get them in the morning. There's quite a few in the morning, they're quite early. There's like three in the morning, then there's not any till later on in the afternoon. It's pretty mad to think that if we stayed on this train until the very end, we'd be right on the border of China. Um, that's pretty cool. So I guess if you wanted to combine Lao with a trip, trip to China, this new rail line makes it really easy to do. It's actually leaving early, two minutes early according to my watch. A saying that I like to use to annoy people is being early is being on time, being on time is being late, and being late is unacceptable. Isn't it, Romana? This is what I have to live with, folks. <laughs> so there's a little sleeper section on the train, <clears throat> obviously for longer journeys, not needed for this one. It's, it's quite cool. us arriving in Vang Vieng. Uh, it's been fine, it's been really uh, gone by pretty fast, just over an hour. This train stopped at a station but I think some of them go straight so they take even less time. But yeah, we're here and some of the scenery on the way was really beautiful. So now to get to transport into town. So there's no, uh, you know, taxi apps or anything like there was in Vientiane and Vang Vien. There's no, so it's just the old, uh, old style, old uh, negotiating with the driver. So thinking around about maybe 50, 50,000, 40, 50,000. No more than that, I would say. We're here, another big station that looks very new. So, it's mostly uh, shared taxis, these vans here, but uh, everyone's kind of going in the same area into town. Uh, 30,000 per person, which is a good deal. Well, that was actually surprisingly straightforward. That's what we like. So we left our apartment at just after 8 this morning and we've now arrived in our hotel room just after 11. So it didn't really take too long, all things considered. Um, the views are spectacular and I'm really looking forward to spending some time in Vang Vien. There's so much to do here um, if you like outdoorsy stuff, which we really do. Uh, we're really looking forward to doing some hikes and things and just getting active again because we haven't really done that for a while. So stay tuned next week when we bring you our Vang VM vlog and tune in to see what crazy adventures we get up to in this really cool place. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.